Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And this time it is going to be yet again another unboxing, but, but, it is not a doll this time. It is a Furby. Um, if you don't know already, I love Furbies. I mean, you should know by now because my YouTube profile picture is literally a Furby, but if you don't, I do love them. I have an entire Instagram page dedicated to them, so you can go check it out if that piques your interest. Um, I don't know how to put links in a YouTube video, so I'm just gonna put like an image of like what my at is. I'll do a collection tour of them sometime soon, but I gotta get through this package first. Let's get on to the main meat of this video, and that is going to be a Furby unboxing. Sorry, I already opened like the top of the package, but it's still covered. Okay, so they stuffed it with tons of like plastic bags and such. So I'll start off with the more tame one first. I still love this guy, don't get me wrong, but there is something more crazy in this package. But I got, if I can open him up. Okay, his box is kind of dinged up, but whatever. And oh my gosh, he's pretty dang clean. But it's the Kiwi Furby. I'm gonna buy some eye chips for him because I wanna make his eyes the same color as like this part, like his little mane and tail. I think that'd be really cute. But yeah, um, I honestly don't know if he works. That's the first one. And the second one is the main prize. Look at him! So he's not technically new in box, but he came with the box and he's in very good condition or she, cause I think I might make this one a girl. Um, I still need to decide their personality and stuff, but let's open the box. And this Furby was already open from the box and the listings. So I'm not like, ruining an old piece of like vintage merchandise, okay? I know some people are very stickler about that, but would you look at that gorgeous face? And his beak isn't all messed up because these guys do not age the best. The rubber on their beak kind of like falls off and deteriorates over time. I'll put a photo somewhere up here, but yeah, let's just get him open. Also, the prototypes of this Furby look so different compared to the final product. Like, it's kind of baffling when you look at it side by side. I haven't opened this type of box before, so I'm a bit nervous because I want to keep this box. I don't want to trash it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So cute. She smells a bit dusty, but other than that, like, she's fine. I honestly might just give her a surface cleaning because, I mean, it feels soft. It's not super gross or anything. Um... She's missing a foot. Okay, here's the foot. This is another problem these 2005 Furbies have. They lose their feet. Um, I don't know the exact reason why, but this is the foot. It looks like a lucky rabbit foot when I have it off like this, but I have not fixed up a 2005 Furby before, so I'm gonna need to look into this. I'm assuming I just screw it onto here, but I'm missing a screw. So I need to figure out what type of screws this foot uses, or if I can just use like, a screw that's similar to this one, I don't know. Also, someone tell me why they made the bottom of these feet like so detailed, it's a bit <laughs> unnerving. Okay, I have yet another Furby package. This one's smaller, but he's still a cutie. I've been wanting him for a while, but I couldn't find one for a good price and with the eye color I wanted. But here he is. Um, he's so soft. Dang, look at that tag. That's like in pristine condition. One of my favorite Furby eye colors is brown, so. When I saw him online, I knew I had to get him. His lashes are a bit messed up from how he was packaged, but I think I can fix those up. I don't know. But look how cute he is. I might name him Jack, as in like Jack-o-lantern or something, because you know, he's kind of Halloween-esque. Okay, I decided to grab some batteries to see if any of these work. I'm gonna get this dusty boy out of the way. Also, what designer decided that this was like <laughs> a good place to put a battery pack? That seems a bit like violating for the Furby, if you ask me. Hopefully there isn't any old batteries in this one. That's never a good thing to come across. Once again, I feel bad for doing this to the Furby, but um, this time these batteries are put in vertically, which is different compared to the other models. So let me do that real quick. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was about. I do notice there's a bit of corrosion on this side. So maybe if I fix that up, I'll have a better time testing this Furby out. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to say it does not work. Next up, we'll do its friend, the Kiwi. Here's the grand reveal. Looks clean to me. Let's put the batteries in and see if he moves. Okay, he's not reacting, which I'm surprised about because he looked to be in good condition. Yeah, he's not budging. I'm not having luck with these Furbies today. Last but certainly not least is this fellow, and oh my gosh, I cannot get over how soft he is. This is like the softest Furby I've ever touched. I think in the listing it said he didn't work, but I don't know. 
I usually don't care because I use my Furbies more so as display pieces rather than toys, but I do play with my 2023 Furby. But let's open him up and see what he looks like on the inside. Looks clean to me. Maybe he works, maybe he doesn't. Let's find out. This toy is like over 20 years old, so I'm not gonna be surprised if it doesn't work. Okay, so the one that was listed as not working actually works, so I find that quite funny. <laughs> I'm so grateful to have these fellas, and thank you very much for watching this video. I know it was short, but I wanted to make a video about Furbies, and this is what happened. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.